Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today is my long-awaited tour of my art room or coloring room, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did one of these quite a while ago and things have changed a lot, especially because I purchased a second bookshelf and that had to really change uh, the way the room was set up. So here I'm just going to move over here and do a quick shot of the room and then we'll move on. Now it's as tidy as it's going to get so <laughs> I've tried to tidy it up really spick and span but it lasts for about six seconds so uh, we're not doing that. So okay so we're going to start over here and go around the room in a square. So we start with my second bookcase and it is a 4x4 four four. so it's got 12 cubes and up on the top. So we'll start at the top here. I'm not going to show you all my all my supplies because uh, I've done that before and that's not what this is. So up on the top shelf I have some uh, storage there. Those are scrapbooking uh, papers and then I have a row of pencils. And then coming down to the next shelf I have my books and then some of the cubes have supplies in them. So more pencils, markers, paints, just book stuff down there. And then here is uh, a box, uh, my latest order from Book Outlet. I'll go back over here, and I have received a box today from my sister. This is my birthday box, which I haven't gotten around opening yet. So then beside the bookcase is my chair, and this is where I sit when I am having a bad day or in the mornings I sit here and read. So next to it is my tray which I can pull out and uh, color on if I'm having a bad day over there. Otherwise it just has junk all over it. Uh, I'll just get this right here. This is the current book that I'm reading. From Here to Eternity by Caitlin Doty. She, Doty. She's also known as Ask a Mortician on YouTube. So then I have another hospital tray right here and this one um, can can be used if I take the stuff off of it but normally it's just sitting here with uh, what I have to do. There's two pencils sets that I need to swatch those are the books that I need to flip, and there's two empty pencil cases for the books. So I'm going to move that out of the way, and we get a shot of the next bookcase, which is over here, and it's a 4x4 four four, uh, four as well, plus I have a separate 1x4 that goes down here. So up on the top shelf I have, uh, that's my paper cutter and beside that is my a binder full of stencils and then the rest of the top is just co covered with mixed media stuff that I don't have anywhere else to put and I didn't want to pack them up. So this bookcase is pretty much full of books. There's a couple of empty cubes, that one's just got my clock so far. The uh, first entire row down there, plus the second one, those are my uh, color by number books. So then we come around to where I have a full uh, window here, which gives me some sunlight. So this is probably not going to, with the sun glaring into the window, the, you might not see this that great. But here I have my printer and a container full of uh, fine liners like paper mate flares and that sort of thing. Those are the different types of papers for the printer. And then we have water coloring 
Uh, I was going to say utensils. <laughs> Water coloring tools. There we go. And then in front of this is where I park my cart. Let's see if I can zoom it out. I'm zoomed out all the way, so I can't get any further away. But th that's my cart. That one I got from Canadian... No. Yeah, that one I got from Canadian Tire, and I like it best. It has a wonky wheel, but it also has, as you can see on the side, it has handles. And I like that with the handles on the top. That bag is my garbage. So on here, the top row, are all the books that I've gotten out. That Those are my choices to color from, from the month. It's not stuff that I have to color from. It's just a selection for me to choose from for my coloring, and I do that every month. And then I have uh, supplies down there that I just pick up when I need them. And then we come into my desk area. And I will try to get a shot of it this way so you can see along there on the right, those are all my alcohol markers. And I have my computer on uh, my laptop on a stand. Uh, if you can see the screen, I'm currently watching uh, Sonia's coloring uh, Sonia's Mixed Media, I believe she's called. Uh, on the table is my current work and the lights that I have set up there. And then on this side, I have my Copics and my paint pens. Then we have my chair. And on the next side of the room, just backing up here, we have this section right here. Just give you a show of it there, but I think you I think you got to look at my closet. That's where where we keep our clothes. So this room is functional for other things as well. That's my magnet board. Okay, so on the top sh on the top there, there's a shelf all by itself, and it's not crooked. It's the it's the house that's crooked. <laughs> but anyways, that's all my water soluble materials. Uh, gel crayons, uh, Neo Color 2s, water color paints, gouache, all that stuff is up there. And then we move down to, let's do my cart, then I can move it out of the way. This is my second cart. Uh, this one is IKEA. The wheels on it are fantastic, but it doesn't have the handles, so that's why I like the other one better. And um, on the top there are all my gel, my gel uh, pens some more paint pens, my Tombos. Down there we have a whole bunch of supplies, including my crayons, and down on the bottom is all my pastels, hard and soft pan pastels, Jane Davenport, etc. So I'll just push that out of the way, and we can see what's here. So next to this uh, unit here, that box, is the stuff that I called this month, so we'll be doing a video on that. Then I have the top of this, which I try to keep pretty neat. There's a pile. That's where I put all my uh, finished books for the month. And in the back there is where I put all my finished markers and stuff. And that little box there is, uh, or little, green, the green thing, uh, that's full of all my inks. And then down at the bottom, all those containers, that has all my mixed, has um, a lot of mixed media uh, mediums and uh, tools. So that's the whole room because we go back to my magnet board and over to the back of the door. So you'll have to excuse the walls and everything because it needs a paint job. But uh, anyways, this is where I sit. I'm moving back to my desk. You can see where I sit. Let's get this better angle over here. I hope you can see something in the windows. The sunshine's not not, uh, whatever. <laughs> I can't think of words today. So, um, I'm going to close now, and I hope you enjoyed this short tool tour, and, um, I will see you next time. I'll be, I'll be back in another video shortly. Bye-bye!